Turn the set on, select your channel. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. I'm Kevlin Henney. I'm an independent consultant, trainer, and writer based in the UK. The two-minute clock starts now. Software systems are complex. In fact, any system involving people is going to be complex. But in software, complexity comes in two basic forms. And these were identified by Fred Brooks in his 1986 classic, uh, No Silver Bullet. Uh, he talks of complexity related to essence and complexity related to accident. So these two ideas are fundamental and worth distinguishing because you get a lot of software developers actually hating what they're doing or struggling with what they do because they're battling complexity. So let's look at what those two complexities are. First of all, we have essential complexity. That is the essence of what you're dealing with, the kind of thing that you are building, the domain, if you like. And those kinds of system that aspect of a system is not a reducible complexity. You, the only way you can conquer that complexity um, is by understanding it or by not dealing with it at all. You, you don't play the game in order to not lose it. Uh, so therefore we can see that certain classes of system, uh, for example any system that deals with uh, questions that uh, operate on a national scale is going to be far harder than writing a Hello World program. And that's an essential problem. That is part of it. But the things people really struggle with are the accidental problems. Accidental complexity is the absolute killer. That is the complexity that we create for ourselves. That is the complexity that you get when you create software. It is the technical debt. It is the incomprehension. It is the legacy. It is the choice of tooling. It is the choice of frameworks. It is the choice of languages. Um, that is a different kind of complexity. So when you are encountering something in software, and you're saying, this is hard, this is complex, I can't test this, I can't work with this. Be careful to distinguish between the accident that is part of the problem domain and the ones that software developers have created for themselves. Was that a good tip? Certainly would be worth a try. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.